Hello, Christopher here. Today I wanted to talk to you about hunting power. Right now I'm at Coba, one of my favorite places, at the observatory, one of the smaller pyramids here. It's an amazing place. The energy is just incredible. And it's one of those places where you find parts of self, who you truly are, a magical place. All great Toltec and Mayan pyramids have locked in them keys, secrets. And if you have the right key, you're able to open up the secrets that lie within. Kayla and I, when we take groups down to these pyramids, we unlock many of the secrets, which gives the transformative experiences that people have on the power journeys. Toltecs hunt power. Again, this is something I've talked about before, but I want to go a little deeper into it. You may have heard this before, but a spiritual path is one of the most difficult things you can ever do in your life. And it is no exaggeration, and words really can't describe what a true spiritual path actually entails. A true spiritual path is something that you will never know, can never know, until you actually experience it. You won't find it in books. People can't tell you what it is. The experience is far beyond anything that can be conveyed through the written word or through words, period. Toltecs understood that you need to stock power and hunt power if you wish to continue to make movement on a path. Because it's difficult, you need an incredible amount of it. So how do you find power? You find power in the world. You hunt power. You may find power in your workplace, for example. Perhaps you have a challenge in your job. The Toltec invites that challenge, knowing that it's an opportunity to acquire power. You may find power going out and talking to people. Perhaps you have some shyness or hesitancies or uncomfortableness around groups of people. If you look at that as a challenge and you hunt it, you stalk it, you will find yourself gaining power from that. All of life, life is where you find power. You cannot find power in a book. You actually don't find power in meditation. You can access great energies in meditation and some of the processes, inner processes of the inner world. And they are very critical and important. However, it takes the outer world, living life with intent in the outer word, world with the purpose and the desire to hunt power in order to acquire it. So every time you have a challenge, every time you have something that perhaps feels uncomfortable in your outer world, take the t spiritual warrior stance. Look at it as an opportunity to hunt power. And as you do so, you gain more and more power your path will accelerate, 
and the living of life becomes that much easier. When we talk about power, we're not talking about power of the ego, although that does exist. We're talking about the power required to make movement, to live the authentic you, to jump up to new energies, to evolve and to grow. It takes power and energy to make those jumps. It is also through power that one acquires dominion in the world, abundance in the world. If you are lacking and wish you had more abundance, for example, stock power. You need power for abundance. When we say dominion, when I talk about dominion, I make a very clear distinction between dominion and domination. A spiritual warrior isn't interested in dominating. Dominating feeds the ego, but it creates separation. Dominion is where you have dominion over self and your world. And through having that power, you are actually able to help others in ways that a person without power never could or can. So hunt your power, stock your power. Notice if you have any resistances to power. If you have resistances, extend through them, move through them. You need to have power on this path, That's why, which is why Toltecs emphasize it so much. So happy hunting. <laughs>